This video is going to show you how to find exact trig values. So here's our first example. Find the exact value of sine 330 degrees. When I see the phrase exact value, I should be thinking two things. The first is no decimals. And the second is I should be thinking about my chart. My chart has three values on it, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. So since 330 is not one of those three, I need to do a little bit of work. So the first thing I'm going to do is sketch my angle. So 330 degrees, we start at 0, 90, 180, 270, and then 360. So 330 degrees is between 270 and 360, so it's going to be in the fourth quadrant. So I draw my initial side always on my positive x-axis, and then here's my angle of 330 degrees. So I know that because I'm in quadrant 4, if I was any point in quadrant 4, this is a positive x and a negative y. Now, if I'm talking about sine, I'm talking about y, because it's always cosine theta, comma, sine theta. So this is my y coordinate, which means my final answer has to be negative. So I want to imagine a triangle in order to help me find my reference angle. My reference angle is always the distance from my terminal side of the angle back to the x-axis. So here's my triangle, it's this distance here. So to get from 330 degrees back to 360, that reference angle is going to be 30. So I am going to find negative sine of 30 degrees. So using my chart that you should have memorized, sine of 30 degrees is 1 half, so my answer is negative 1 half. Let's take a look at one more example. Find the exact value of cosine 210. So once again, exact value, I'm thinking of my chart. But 210 degrees is not on my chart, so I'm going to sketch my angle to find out the quadrant. 0, 90, 180, 270. So 210 is between 180 and 270, so it's in quadrant number Three. So my initial side goes on my positive x-axis, there's my terminal side, this is the angle 210 degrees. So I'm talking about a point in the third quadrant, it's both negative x and negative y. Cosine is going to be the x value because it is cosine comma sine. So my answer is going to be a negative value. I want to find my reference angle, because in order to use my chart, I have to have 30 degrees, 45 degrees, or 60 degrees. So if I were to draw a triangle, this little piece in here from 180 degrees to get me to my terminal side of 210 is going to be 30 degrees. So I'm going to have negative cosine of 30 degrees. The cosine of 30 degrees from your chart is radical 3 over 2, so my answer is negative radical 3 over 2. And that's how you find exact trig values.